Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today I'm going to start my no grit experiment. So what you see here is a light migration happening, and I'm going to try and remove as much as possible of the castings and any residual grit. And then in the meantime, we're going to make up the bedding. All right, first off, I'm going to start with some moist leaves. Get that in there. And they are pretty damp, but we are going to continue wetting them as we get the mix made together. Next, I'm going to add junk mail, etc. into the mix. Trying to get kind of a one-to-one -one with the leaves and the paper there. This will compact pretty quickly. Um, the worms I'm going to be using are my compost um, mix, which is blues, euros, and reds didn't exactly uh, mix them on purpose, that's the way they came, but they are what I have the most plentiful of. They are the ones that I have the most of, so that's what they're going into for the experiment. Looks pretty decent. And then additionally, I'm going to add some peat moss in here to try and keep it from clumping. And honestly, I don't remember if this is peat moss or cocoa fiber. But uh, tomato, tomato, it has been previously rinsed and dried for storage. So in the event that um, there was any salt problems with the cocoa fire or acidity problems with the regular cocoa, with the regular peat, um, that has been nullified at this point. Now this is something that I already have in-house for my plants. I'm not buying this for my worms or anything, but I always sift the cocoa choir and the regular peat so that um, I only use the larger particles for my bonsais. So um, this is kind of a byproduct of a different process. And I know it seems like I'm doing a lot of water here, but that peat or cocoa peat, whichever it is, will absorb an insane amount of water. So although there might be water at the bottom at this particular second, after it sits for about a half hour, I may end up having to even add more. If you've ever ordered any of those cocoa peat bricks, um, one little brick that's this big will fit a uh, wheelbarrow. So I don't advocate just pouring water into a bin, but since this is not a real functioning bin at this time and there's no worms in here, it will be okay. We're going to wait um, for this to all commingle before I add the worms to it. Um, but I just wanted to make sure this is not my prepared bedding. This is just yield dry paper. There's no grit in it. Um, obviously there's no grit in the paper um, or the leaves. The leaves, if they have any gritty components to them, they are natural and not part of the normal grit inducing process where we put, you know, um, shells or eggshells or, you know, oyster shells or something in there. So I'm going to let this sit and uh, absorb the water and I will start back working on my flight migration. So I just take the castings off the top here. Any, grab them back. It takes a couple of minutes for them to dive down. The lights are not super bright right now. This is just under my regular grow light, you know, a couple feet below it, so they're not super agitated to where they want to get out of there real fast. But I will 
leave that for you on time lapse. guys here is my probably half pound of worms uh, varying sizes as you can see here and I do have Europeans reds and blues and uh, trying to take as little castings as I can and then they are going to live in here and see if they can grow up and be productive members of my worm society without any grit added to their bin. Now I'm gonna let them settle in and let you watch them dig under there um, and then I'm gonna find them some food. Okay, so I think that's about good. I'm gonna incorporate everything here, look and see if the moisture is, is good still. I don't know if you can see now, there's no, okay, there's a little bit of water in the bottom. Maybe I'll add a little bit more peat down there, just so it's not wet, wet. Also going to give them some banana peels for right now. But yeah, so there seems to be a little bit of water in the bottom, so I'll add just a little bit more peat in there to sop up the water. We don't want this going anaerobic. And then, so this is the beginning of the no grit bin. The worms are all still kind of in a clump, but let's be nice and we'll put them underneath. Light harvest can be a little stressful, um, so that's what I'm going to leave with them. Alright guys, if you like the experiment, give me a muddy thumbs up, and if you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. If you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.